the House has passed its fiscal 2018 budget. Right now, that vote tally looks to be 219 to 206, with no Democrats supporting this budget resolution. Now, this had been a critical vote for Republicans because it starts to unlock those special rules that they want to use to pass tax reform. You heard a lot of debate on the floor over the cost of any tax package. The House budget resolution actually calls for deficit neutral tax reform. It's the Senate version of the budget that allows for a $1.5 trillion plan. And it's going to be up to that upper chamber now to get that passed. And then the two sides will have to come together and agree on a final version. I saw House Majority Leader Kevin McCarthy in the hallways earlier this morning, and he was accosted by a woman who yelled out, no to the taxes. He jokingly responded to her, I don't like taxes either, but that was just a little taste of the opposition that Republicans will be facing as this tax debate really begins in earnest here in Washington. And uh, we will see how that continues to play out throughout the day. Back over to you guys. Washington, the process is so Byzantine to me, Elon, but I want to underline this needs to happen in order for tax reform to happen, right? That's right. They need to get that reconciliation process started. And the way you get reconciliation is by passing a budget. Okay. And when was the last time that we actually passed a budget? It's famous, right? For years we haven't had a budget. It's well, usually appropriation a, they, after appropriation. They passed an FY17 budget, and that's how you got those reconciliation instructions, which allow Republicans to pass a bill with a simple majority vote. They passed that in fiscal 2017 in order to allow for the repeal and replacement of Obamacare. That expired on September 30th, and now they have to start it all over again to do tax reform. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.